Really though, I believe Hiro had experienced some sort of negative event during his time at university, but it appears that he stopped going because his peers discovered how much money he had lost. Not only that, but they weren't being cruel. That one guy seemed to actually care for Hiro, but I suppose he fled because he felt like a loser and was embarrassed. After all that sprinting, Takakai is such a freaking bro for following Hiro that he pursued Hiro even though he had no real reason to assist him. He even settled Hiro's debt. Takakai is a gentle soul, and I'm curious to know how he turned out to be like that. We did get a very tiny look of Takakai's past, and while it was too fast to see, I think Takakai can definitely relate to Hiro more than he thinks. That's a good amount of money. Although a million yen isn't exactly enough to buy a new boat or even a new car, it's still a substantial sum of money, $6,600. After splitting it, they would each receive $1,650. Although Hiro may not have to worry about the debt as much, now that Takaki is helping him, he might still need another push to think about taking his life seriously and moving in a positive direction, even if it's only for a short time. Sasaki is a man who can run for a man with a terminal illness lung cancer. Speaking about terminal illnesses, he hasn't told them yet. And his parents too. When Hiro claimed he didn't want to exist, did anyone see that brief moment with Takaki? It appears that he has his own baggage, which I hope we can discuss soon, could be a problem later on. If he doesn't want to reward Takaki's kindness, by finding a correct means to collect additional money before publicizing his condition, then his disease is probably turning into an easy way out. If the illness turns out to be a misdiagnosed, he might lose this excuse and have to face his faults. It is my hope that he will soon find his life's purpose and begin taking action. We learn more about Hiro's past transgressions and his hopeless present situation. What qualities does Sutu Jamori see in him that motivate him to assist? A few tidbits of his own history or his recollections of someone were revealed to us. The rescue romance route would have been a little too corny, unless this works out BL style. But it's kind of refreshing that it's not really Hana, she just wants to fish and eat. It appears like Takakai's dearest buddy or sibling passed away. They got into a fight and it might have been suicide. It could be the cause of his strong attachment to a lifeless person. Additionally, we see the brother or buddy holding a fishing pole in a case in the flashback, which is most likely the same one he is using right now. Hana is eating well today and is quite precious. She merely enjoys fishing for its own sake. That didn't go as planned. I thought they would take some of the shark's winnings and he would have to repay them by working at the business for less money or something. By working at the business, he is still repaying Takai Kai rather than the store itself. Despite our self-pitying protagonist's very depressing circumstances, this anime is enjoyable to watch because it is more graphically inventive than the typical anime and stylistically. Reminds me a bit of Zoom 100, especially that one on the beach where you sprint sideways, 